Hey everyone, it's Karen from Mayfly Life. Today I'm showing you how I've made and painted this lovely headboard. It's metal and I used a combination of uh, latex spray paint and chalk paint and then distressed it. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, I Oh boy, I started painting my bed frame and it was a black underneath and I spray painted it this matte, uh, semi, semi matte, semi gloss type gray color. Uh, so it'll go with my, my bedroom. Now, uh, I ran out of spray paint, so I've got to finish doing this. And you just do light light coats and I just like I said I miss spots because the lighting was actually pretty crappy in here yesterday because it was pretty overcast so it was quite uh, quite dark in here so I couldn't tell where where I was going And just want to give it a good shake. And I've got to make sure that, whoop, <laughs> got Scott's whatchamacallit. But I'm not doing a complete, like, all crazy type coverage. And this side is pretty much done, but I've got to double check underneath. Nope. Ah. Just want to make sure that it's covered completely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint, I'm going to like scruff it up. I'm going to sand it a bit and do, um, do a chalk paint on it. It's going to be in white linen and it'll, it'll, uh, actually look really, really nice. I mean, this was my daughter's old bed and it was uh, black. I mean, I could have just painted over the black, but I didn't want that. So I'm gonna leave this side dry and then flip it around and continue filling out the other side. Okay, as you can see, my headboard is dry now. So I've got a few imperfections here, like little bubbles and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sanding block and just slightly sand it down, just so that we get rid of those really bumpy, lumpy portions of uh, a paint that uh, that actually bubbled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over where any of the lumps are, and then I'm going to go over it with a, a wash, like with a damp cloth, and then I'm going to paint over this in white, or actually it's called linen white. So I'll get this done. Show you what I'm going to be doing with uh, the paint. Okay, so now that it's uh, sanded down and uh, a lot of the bubbles have been been taken out, uh, it's uh, ready to go with the second coat. 
And I'm using um, a Rust-Oleum uh, chalked paint uh, in uh, linen white. Uh, I decided to go uh, not to go with the uh, Annie Sloan because uh, I was doing some research uh, on the her chalk paint, and you know what? It's bloody expensive. So, I mean, I paid two times less than what Annie Sloan paints are. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it is. I've uh, read reviews on uh, on it being a, a really good uh, paint, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna top coat this with uh, the uh, white linen, the linen white, and I'm just going to start doing thin, thin coats. I'm just going right over top, and it is a thick paint. You want to go uh, thin, uh, thin coats. You don't want to you don't want it to be super thick. I mean, because the first coat you're going to see is uh, going to be uh, quite streaky, but uh, you're going to do, I'm going to do a couple of layers, a couple of uh, coats uh, with this, and then uh, what I'm going to do is let it dry for about, about an hour, I'd say, you know, 20 minutes to an hour, but I'm going to just err on the side of caution and just do, uh, let it dry for about an hour before I I recoat, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to sand between coats, just a light, light sanding, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so you can see how I'm painting it. I'm painting it, and it's coming out like streaky, and that's that's to be expected with any type of uh, uh, latex paint or even a chalk paint. Uh, so, like I said, I'll be doing two two coats and I'm just doing long even strokes and covering up as much as I can see and I've got a lot of little nooks and crannies that I got to get into and just go over it just like so. Okay. I've got the second coat on and it uh, it's covered up really well. And actually, I was looking closer at it. I really love these brush strokes. Um, so you know what? I'm going to keep them. I'm going to, of course, sand this down and uh, distress it. So, uh, but you can see some of the brush strokes in here, it kind of is reminiscent of like a, a, a bed frame that my grandfather had where you could actually see all the brush strokes, all the roughness uh, of a DIY paint job. And I actually like this. It, it's not perfect uh, like a lot of designers and do-it-yourselfers do and they want it perfect. And you know what? I like it imperfect. It's actually pretty cool. And it does make it look much, much older. So like you can see here, I've left little, little bits, unpainted uh, in spots uh, or rough. And I decided I liked this look. I really did. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Like I will of course uh, be sanding this. And I am definitely going to love how this is going to turn out because when I distress it, it's going to look even better. Okay, as you can see, I've got uh, the second coat is dry. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my sanding block. I'm going to start sanding it down. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm using um, just a sponge block giving it a nice little sand and going along the edges so that I can actually get down to get down to the uh, the color underneath as you can see here and I'm just gonna take down just a little bit as you can see 
not a lot, but where it would probably be worn. I love this distressed look. You don't have to do it everywhere. You can do it sporadically and by sanding it, it gives it a nice smooth finish. So you just want to lightly sand. You know, if you want to go deeper, you can go deeper, which is fine. But you're going to want to give it a good sanding. And if you want to wear off some spots where you want more of the undercoat to show, which is what I'm doing. I mean, I'm using this probably uh, 180 or, or a 220 grit sandpaper sanding block, and it gives it a much much nicer, nicer finish. And like I said, I've left uh, along some of the rails. I've left, left it kind of streaky, which is what I wanted. It turned out to be really nice. So I'm going to distress it and sand and just do it randomly all over the place. You know, it doesn't have to be a lot, but if you want to give it a really cool look, it's gonna look a little streaky. Take off a little bit more on uh, the flat parts if you want. So it looks like it's it's really worn down. So I'm going to continue this, continue my sanding, and uh, then uh, wipe it down before I finish it. Okay, now that it has been distressed, I've wiped it down. I'm going to be starting uh, to uh, seal it, and I'm using a wax, a paste wax. And uh, I've got uh, the, uh, actually you're reading the French. Uh, it's a paste finishing wax by Minwax. And all I'm gonna do is take a little bit on a dry cloth and I'm just gonna rub it in here into the cloth so it's not all clumpy. And I'm just gonna just cover this as much as I can with uh, to seal it. Uh, so I want to make sure that everything is uh, sealed properly and I love the fact that this has been um, worn down. You can see here it's been worn down right to the black color plus the the gray and then the white and I really like this. So what, what this Minwax is going to do is going to actually provide a protective layer. I've got it leaning up against my car because I need to open up my garage door in order to get better light in here. So basically I'm just going over everything and then what I'm going to do is I'll let it dry for about, oh, I'd say about half an hour to an hour and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff it down and then this should be ready to go. Okay, so I'm buffing my uh, headboard here and it is Nice and smooth, shiny, and protected. So I'm just uh, 
I just need to uh, put this in the uh, in the guest room and this is what the results are it's turned out beautifully I'm really pleased uh, I will definitely recommend chalk paint <laughs> as a DIYer uh, I've never done it before but it's perfect for uh, any DIYer actually and you know what I think the rougher it looks the better it looks and I'm really pleased and you can see how how it's detailed how I did it so I'm super super pleased with how it turned out thanks for watching catch in the next one